Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel CAT Tutorials for Beginners to Advanced. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the next sweep types in Katia V5 generative shape design. So in this lecture, let's uh, discuss about the line profile type with a reference surface. So let's see uh, with the help of practical demonstration. So we'll uh, start with the shape and then shape design and then just click on OK. So here uh, let's click on the sweep here and now we are in the second profile type which is a line one and then in the subtypes we have already covered two limits limits and the middle and then we are going to see this uh, with reference surface so here uh, we need to provide the inputs as guide curve one then reference surface we need to provide then we can we can play with these options as well uh, with the angle and then there will be a uh, angular sector we will have uh, the four po possibilities and again which we can use uh, as per our requirement and then there are uh, more options like length 1 and length 2 uh, in this command and then as usual we have relimiter 1 and relimiter 2 as well so let us create uh, some uh, sketches here to understand it completely so let me create a position sketch and just create on the top plane just select a top plane here and let me align this and click on ok so now uh, the first example we'll see uh, with a simple line uh, command here just use a line here and then exit the workbench and then now uh, i will uh, just extrude this let me extend this so we have this sketch one and i will extrude this sketch one so click on the extrude here and then provide a di direction so let's select this as a direction and then let's provide as 100 and then click on ok so now we have the surface ready so which is a nothing but a reference surface and now we can use the guide curve as a any any edge here so let's select the sweep here again and then the in the line profile tab select this option with, with reference surface select the guide curve i will select this as a guide curve here and then the reference surface this is a reference surface so now as this is in a linear fashion so it will it will uh, translate this surface in a linear fashion and here we can we can simply uh, provide the length one and length two so length one uh, is uh, possibly let's say 200 and then preview after it and you can see the swift has been happened and with the length of 200 mm so again again let's say here here if you try to uh, keep it in the length two side then that is not uh, required here actually so because we already have this surface here but let's say if you want to extend it on the other side as well then you can use this let me try with a 250 and then you can see uh, this has been extended with a 250 but this is from this edge completely this from the edge Similarly, if you want to uh, try it with the with the angle here, then you can do that. Let's just uh, try to uh, change the angle here and click on preview. You can see the angle has been created here. And here you will have uh, different uh, possibilities which we can you can use. You can see the angle is now. And again, if you click on the next, this is again the next orientation. If you click on preview, this is the fourth orientation we have. So in this way you can use of this let me make it zero and then click on the preview option and then again i will make this angle also at zero and just simply you can you can do like this just click on ok so in this way you can use this uh, with reference surface command so again if if you want to use the relimiters you can you can uh, try over that as well so here uh, let's create a relimiter one now so right click here and again i will create a plane and then now i will uh, create an offset from plane so let's select this plane and we'll create an offset just reverse the direction and then let's try with the 50 mm preview after it and then click on ok just click on preview and now you can see uh, the the only uh, portion which has been swept this is relimited because this is the reference surface this will remain the same but the swift surface is getting relimited between this this uh, relimiter one and the 
origin plane so let's say if, if you make it zero and let's try to add it on the other other side let's click on preview and you can see it is created on the other side again it, it is really limited one and just click on ok so in this way you can you can use this uh, limiter options as well so now let me let me just delete this and we'll uh, take one more example so just delete this sketch as well and make it make it to isometric view and now i will use the uh, circular path here now so let's create a profile on this plane I just use this uh, arc again and now create this let's create the curve here and then i will again extrude this let's provide the direction direction is taken as normal automatically just reverse the direction and then you can simply try with the 200 and then click ok so now we have this uh, surface with us now again uh, just go to this sweep command and now the guide curve just provide this as a guide curve here and then reference surface just select this as a reference surface and then try to preview it so you can see the reference surface is created which is nothing but tangent actually for this uh, surface created again if you want to change the direction you can do that you can just uh, make it to zero and you can provide it to 200 and just click on the preview option and you can see the sweep has been created with a reference surface this one and then this is a guide curve so similarly you can you can use a relimiter options here so i will not uh, going to discuss this in detail because we already discussed in our uh, example one and now here if you try to uh, change the angular sector types here you can you can see you will see some different uh, uh, possibilities and you can use uh, depending on the requirement let's try uh, to change this angle and you can see the angle is now getting increased so in this way you can you can uh, make use of this uh, command while you are uh, while you are designing any any uh, any CAD model similarly if you try to enter it in the minus direction then it will go in the inside this surface reference surface let's try this again one so you can see the surface is created here just click on ok then simply so you, you can you can just uh, use this based on your requirement and you can use further uh, like the edge fillets so you can use a shape fillet here just select the edges so before this you need to uh, join these two surfaces because these are two independent surfaces we have so if you just cl click on it you will see only one surface is getting selected and if you select this only this uh, sweep is getting selected here so to uh, to overcome that you can just use the join command just use the join here select this uh, this surface and then this surface and then click on ok so now if you click on the join you can see this uh, two surfaces are getting combined now and you can simply use this as a, as a, as a whole uh, part now if you want to change the merging distance between these two surfaces you can change from here which is now by default in Cartier 0.001 mm so now simply you can just uh, use a fillet command here let me go here maybe we will try edge fillet just select the edge and then you can simply uh, provide the edge here uh, which you want to fillet let's try 10 mm or maybe we can we can try more let's try 20 and you can see you can use this uh, edge fillet command now simply so in this way this is uh, all about the uh, line profile type with a reference surface in our upcoming tutorial we are going to discuss about the with reference curve uh, command in in more detail so that's it uh, for this uh, session thanks for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do uh, subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos and if you if you do have any any queries or any any doubts you can uh, comment in the comment section below so thank you so much thanks for watching